right, everyone, I hope that you enjoyed that shake break. Let's go ahead and do our emotions check-in so we can jump right into morning meeting. Close those eyes. Take your first deep breath in. Breathe out. Take another breath in. Breathe out. Let's do one more breath in. Eyes still closed. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly open your eyes. Think about how you are feeling, how your brain and body feel today. Let's go ahead and jump right into our morning message. I'm going to read. You are going to follow along. Good morning, Kipsters. Today, we are going to learn about our hearts. What do our hearts do? Why are they important? Raise your hand if you know what your heart does. Now, our hearts play one of the most, most, most important jobs in our entire bodies. Our hearts pump blood and oxygen and nutrients to the rest of our bodies. Nutrients are kind of like food. Now, every single part of our body needs blood, oxygen, and nutrients to live. If parts of our body stop getting those things, they stop working. Like, if your brain stops getting blood, oxygen, and nutrients, it turns off. If your stomach stops getting blood, oxygen, and nutrients, it stops working. Our body parts need those things to survive. And our hearts are what gives the rest of our body those things. Our hearts are one of the most important body parts we have because it makes our other body parts work. Without our hearts, the rest of our bodies wouldn't work and we wouldn't be able to be alive. Our hearts are one of the things that keeps our bodies alive, which is super, super cool. So why are we learning about our hearts today? Well, we've been talking all about mindfulness. Say mindfulness. Mindfulness, as you all know, is when we, is when we pay our full attention to something. So the reason that we're talking about our hearts today is I want us to practice being mindful about our heartbeats. Now a heartbeat is just the beat that our heart makes. It's the thump, thump, thump that our heart makes. That thumping is our hearts working. So we're going to talk about our heartbeats today and how we can be mindful of them. So I'm going to show you how to feel your heartbeat. So what you're going to do is you're going to take two fingers. Go ahead and put those two fingers up. Now there are two different ways that you can feel your heartbeat. I'm going to show you each one. So put up two fingers and then put up a fist on the other side. You're going to take your two fingers and you're going to put them right on your wrist. Do you feel your heartbeat? Do you feel the thump, thump, thump? So that's one way that you can feel it, by putting your fingers on your wrist. The other way that you can feel it is if you take your two fingers and you put them underneath your neck. You're going to put right underneath where your jaw is. Do you feel the thump, thump, thump? That's your heart working. So I want everyone, it doesn't matter where you're sitting, you could be on your bed, you could be in a chair, you could be on the floor. I just want everyone sitting down and I want you to use your two fingers to either feel your heartbeat on your wrist or feel your heartbeat on your neck. And we're just gonna listen to our heartbeat for a few seconds, okay? So go ahead and start feeling it. I'm gonna do it on my neck, but you can do it on your wrist if that's easier for you. So we're gonna take a few seconds and we're just gonna feel our heartbeats. What do you notice about your heartbeat? It's going pretty slowly. You feel a strong beat, but it's not really moving that quickly. When our hearts, when our bodies aren't moving, like when we're sitting down, it's called being at rest. And when we're resting, our hearts don't really need to work that hard. Let's do a little experiment though. Instead of sitting, Let's run in place. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna run in place for 30 seconds. Let's do that in three, two, one, go.
Check your heartbeat again. Do it on your wrist, do it on your, on your neck. Now what do you notice? Our hearts, our heartbeats are moving so much faster. It's going thump, 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 thump. Why? Why is it doing that? When our bodies are moving, like when we're dancing or when we're running, our heart has to work faster to pump even more, even more blood to the rest of our bodies. And it makes our heart go thump, 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 thump because it's working so much harder. Go ahead and feel it again. Do you feel it slowing down because you're sitting back down again? Today, I want you to practice being mindful of your heartbeat after different activities. Maybe after you watch Mrs. Ellis's math video, you're gonna check your heartbeat. Maybe after you're done running around outside, you're gonna check your heartbeat. Think about how your heart is beating, if it's beating fast, if it's being slow. Be mindful of your heartbeat today to practice your mindfulness. Thanks for hanging out with me in Morning Meeting. I will see you guys for sight words in just a moment.